it's called trendily i hope i'm pronouncing this correctly you can come and you can able to have a look there you have bunch of feature which you can utilize and this is absolutely must tool for every DeFi developer working on the space so you can come and you can have a look all of their services you can simply check from your end but when you will come to this website i'll provide the link in the description so you can click and you can come they have this two one they have the sandbox and they have the explore so either you can create your account or you can explore the transaction without creating an account so let's first explore click on that and this is the exact interface you will get so here you will have this particular interface it's taking a little bit time to load and i have already done the testing on this two contract recently so you can find that one so i what i will do i'll simply take this one it's a uniswap contract where the user is doing the swap of the token and that's the contract we are trying to debug so here you can see this trendly will give you the entire information about this particular transaction so here on the left hand side you will find the contract this is the overview so you can simply scroll and you can able to see that how the contract got called what are the functions are involved tons of things you will have so this is the from this is the to this is the amount this is the token so token to you need to away then with these are the erc20 token you can see the worth you can see the status all and the time and all so this is the overview now if you want to check the contract so you can click on this contract and here you will find that what are the contracts got involved at the time of making this transaction so you can see all of these contracts are right up here you can simply click and you can have a more you can click on this event and you can see that what are the event got fired when the user have called this particular function these are the event got fired so you can see all of these events got triggered in this particular transaction so this is the transfer event we have the delicate power change event we have the delicate power change we have tons of event got called in this single transaction and that's all you can able to find different pools with so that's all we have now if you want to see the status so whenever the transaction takes place inside any contract it somehow changed the state of the contract so some of the variable will change inside the contract and that's also you can monitor with this particular tool so you can come here in the state change and you will find that what are the states are changed so you can see this is the mapping we have inside that these are the states got changed so this is the ids you can see the slot you can see the away and tons of things so you can simply explore each one of that the new ones the balance all of these states are changed inside the contract and this is not the single contract it's actually a multiple contract that's why you can able to see so many states are changing in every single contract which we have interacted with so if you come back to the contract you can see we have tons of contract now if you want to see the code so you can simply debug you can click on this debugger and here you will be able to find it so if you see this is the address and this is the balance and you can see no source of this contract is explained so i don't know why it's not slaying but here you can able to find that what function it's called so we have the balance of then we have the fallback then we'll have the will fallback admin all of this function was called in this particular transaction so that's what you can able to find the unt variable the mill div gas stick so all of things you can able to find i hope you guys have know what is gas stick because that's we have covered extensively in the uniswap project where we have built the Uniswap clone, so make sure to check that. And now the best part I like personally about this tool that it allow me to monitor the gas, the amount of gas which user are paying. So I can optimize my gas in a better way, so I don't need to pay higher amount. And in that way, I can pick those variable which is important, and I don't need to include unnecessary variable. So in it's helped me in optimizing my contract. So if you come back to the gas profile you can able to find that in what functions what amount of gas you have paid so you will have this total gas is this and actual gas used was this one and initial was used this so total was this then the actual was this and when you started this transaction this is the actual gas you paid and then there is tons of gas are involved in different stages because as i told you that multiple contracts are involved and multiple transaction is taking place at the time of swapping the tokens between uniswap to our way and that's the transaction we try to debug here you can see all of the data which you can able to find and here you will have this development you can easily able to simulate so just imagine that you have a smart contract and you want to stimulate to check that how the contract is interacting and what are the 
transfer funds is taking place that's what you can do right up here you can see they have explained everything if you guys want me to make a tutorial on this to stimulate the transaction to show you that how the transaction takes place before you deploy to the actual network you can do that very easily this is the local transaction we have right now we don't have any data but you can easily able to do it you can set up the local transactions and you can easily able to do the monitor of your transaction or of the contract which you are building so whenever we work before the clients we definitely come and we try to check the contract interactions and how it's taking place and that's how we can do it using these different tools so this one is absolutely amazing tools i want you to come and have a look if you guys want me to create a stimulation of a contract where we can test the contract using this and we can monitor all the gas which you can see right up here we can do that very easily we can able to see the events we can able to see the state change in the contract you can able to find the debug so if you want to debug the contract you can do it so if i click on this you can simply copy that one if you click on that you can able to see that which function you have called so this is the constructor and we have this modifier so if you want to debug any particular contract you can able to see like if i want to check this balance off click on that and uh, right now it's not fetching that if you call this fallback you can see this is the fallback we have called at the time of this particular transaction so this is how you debug and you have to utilize it if you really are working in the defi space because when you build any project for your client any dab this is how you have to do the testing because you can't build something just like that and you just give to your client you have to know how to do the testing how to see the gas pricing that's taking place all the things you have to know so again this one is an amazing tool i want you to come and have a look try to explore that what are the things you will have here for yourself and how you can utilize it in your regular work and if you guys want me to create a video that how you can stimulate any transactions build a contract and stimulate that's what we can include and i will show you that how you can do that very easily where you can monitor that what amount of gas p a user will pay when he will make a call to your contract so that's all we can monitor right up here so that's the only thing i want to talk about you can simply simply come here explore and you can paste the transaction hash and you can find it out or you can have another option you can create your account and here you will have a bunch of options so once you create your account and if you simply paste the transaction hash so this is the one i will take it copy that one and i have simply created my account and this is the dashboard i got you can see you will have the similar interface but you will have a couple of more options so you can simply come here and you can simply paste that one the transaction and you can is able to do the debugging so just wait you can see this is for the main net click on that and it's going to fetch the information so this will give you the same information but it will have a little bit more information so this is the all function we have this is the opt code you can simply find it this is the from this is the two functions this is the contract you can see all of things the contracts we have called you can click on that and you can debug so this one is really good if you want to become a defi developer then you have to know that how you can play with the existing code most of the time i space as a defi developer i try to look at the different codes in this particular chain so this tools help me a lot to understand that how v3 units of v3 pull work so i can simply click on that i will try to understand that how they have built a logic what function it's calling and what are things i can include so you can see there is a tons of thing which you can do in this particular contract so come here and try to analyze the entire code click on each one of these pool functions and you can see what they have triggered this will give you amazing idea so that's the only thing i want to talk about in this video hope this video is helpful for you if you still have any confusion any doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll try to make a video on that and i want you to come and have a look try to paste the address of the transaction and try to explore the contract that how the contract is getting called what are the contract they have involved for making a particular transaction look at the functions that will help you a lot to learn faster about the smart contract development uh, and you will learn about the auditing as well so i believe that you guys are following this particular project which i have published saturday and a lot of you guys are giving amazing feedback i want you to come and build this project come to the playlist you will find tons of project and this will help you a lot if you really want to learn development fast you have to build project St spend less time on learning about the theoretical concept build project and try to understand which logic we have implemented that will give you the real learning so we have this web3 api startup we have this like metamask clone we have the real state we have the uniswap we have the api development we have the nft marketplace we have close to 20 projects so i want you to come and have a look that will give you amazing learning so that's the only thing i want to talk about in this video hope this video is helpful for you if you still have any confusion in doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll try to help you in that have a wonderful day bye bye